Hi, I'm Mike Confalone, and welcome to my Allagash Railway set in West Central Maine in the late 1970s. We're standing at a location called Andover, Maine on the Allagash. This is on the White Mountain Branch. And we've got an interesting project we're going to do for you here. I'll just give you a little bit of history on the um, model railroad here that we're looking at. This is uh, part of the original uh, Woodsville Terminal short line that I had done several years ago, which was eventually rebranded as a branch line on the uh, my new Allagash uh, Railway Regional set in Maine. This particular track here uh, is part of a branch, again it's the White Mountain branch, terminating here at this uh, sort of gravel pit and uh, cement batch plant area. In theory this branch continued beyond this grove of trees here uh, all the way into Shelburne, New Hampshire and beyond at, at one point in history, hence the name White Mountain Branch. Uh, the branch has uh, obviously uh, fallen into disrepair by the look of the tracks here. There's not, not a whole lot of traffic on this on this branch, and this is end of track for the White Mountain Branch. So it's, um, you know, it's a marginal branch line on the Allagash. It's uh, something that gets uh, as needed service, and uh, but I think what we're going to do here is uh, maybe make better use of the space and create another interesting industry for the railway. As you can see, we've got a very narrow bench here, about 12 inches wide with a uh, digital photo backdrop that wraps around uh, on a piece of styrene in the corner and terminates here at this end. Um, we've got a cement batch plant up on the backdrop here and a uh, bit of a period of uh, consideration in terms of what kind of uh, traffic to, to model uh, in this area here. We've got a lot of sand and gravel. We've got the batch plant for cement. My thought originally was to maybe load uh, cement here, have some cement towers. But I think a better bet um, is to do something a little more bold uh, and adventurous. As you can see, this aisle I'm standing in here uh, is kind of wasted space. So I think we're going to utilize some of that space and create uh, a rock quarry, uh, a place where the railroad could come in and haul out crushed stone for uh, railroad ballast or for any number of uh, construction projects. So. What I'm going to do, just give you a brief explanation before we get into actually doing the project, uh, we're going to actually disconnect this fascia. You know, this is a difficult decision to make because essentially this is a finished scene. So you, you never want to break into a finished scene and, and mess things up. But in this case, I think it's going to be um, long term, uh, to the long term benefit of the, uh, of the model railroad. So we'll actually disconnect the fascia right about here and pull it back towards me and bring it against this wall here. So kind of at a nice gradual angle terminating here. This entire corner then will be a rock quarry. And when I say rock quarry, I mean a, 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 you know a, an area where blasting and drilling of rock would be done. So uh, something relatively uh, tall, steep, and mountainous with uh, exposed rock that's been blasted away. Um, what's nice about this space for this project is the fact that we have a corner here and we could mount the scenery right into the corner and I think it's going to work out real well. So again we'll break the fascia out, bend it over, creating a nice sweeping arc here that follows the uh, course of this main line and we'll throw a switch in up here ahead of the, uh, the crossing. It's going to be pretty tight, very very tight actually, um, to, get a, to get a switch in here and that's going to branch off and go into the quarry for, uh, for rock loading. This is code 55 rail in here, which in retrospect I wish I hadn't done. It looks really great um, in terms of its ricketiness and uh, looks very dilapidated, which is cool. Uh, but I like to use microengineering uh, number 6 switches and I'm going to have to get a number 6 code 70 switch to mate up with this code 55 rail or rip this out entirely and replace it with code 70. I uh, hesitate to do that. So we're going to try to splice a switch right in here and, uh, and then have that siding branch off. And then we'll go ahead and build the rock quarry. We'll show you step by step how we're going to do that uh, with some interesting scenery methods. And I think you'll find it uh, quite uh, interesting. And at the end of the day, we'll be pushing some uh, ballast hoppers in here to uh, load up with some crushed stone. So without further ado, let's get busy at uh, Andover, Maine on the Allagash Railway, the quarry project. Mm -hmm. 